potential consequences of leaving an Australian Shepherd, American Shepherd puppy alone, unsupervised, for a short period of time. She went into the master bathroom where I had this tub of toilet paper sitting down there in the corner. She grabbed several rolls and went to town inside and in the lanai. Guilty. And when I came in, I was she saw I was displeased, and then she peed right there. Out in the lanai, she grabbed a, some toilet paper and just went to town with it everywhere out here. Guilty. This is not the first time this happened with toilet paper. She's completely obsessed with toilet paper and socks. Look at all these socks. She has, and she likes any kind of paper that she can get to. She'll tear it up. It's only going to take me 30 minutes to clean this up, but it's annoying. And another thing about potty training, I do not recommend puppy pads because they too closely resemble uh, car um, rugs and carpet. And so every once in a while, she pees on the rug because she thinks it's a potty pad. And it's very, very difficult to break them from that habit. Do not use puppy pads. That's a marketing scam. Just take them outside when they're going inside and praise them when they go outside. Whatever, how long that takes, that's what you're going to have to do. Look at this magazine she tore up. It's a hurricane survival magazine of some sort. And she has these. She doesn't want those. Those are designed for dogs. She has 25 toys. She doesn't want anything to do with the toys because those are for dogs. She takes her brush and she wants to chew on it because it's not designed as a dog toy. If this were a dog toy, she would have nothing to do with it. But there are some good things about this dog. She's crate trained. She'll go in her crate all by herself. Crate, 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 crate. She doesn't know the. Okay, good girl. Yes. Sometimes she'll lay down in there. Oh, God, I don't like it. I don't like this. But if you leave them unsupervised outside of a crate, this is the risk you take. And her bark actually damages my ear. I can actually like hear my ear ring. It's so extremely loud. So, puppy is a big mixture of good and bad until they're trained they're training she's five months old and still has a lot of training left off off yes and as the bigger she gets the more she's able to climb up and get in more trouble she's already been to the emergency room twice once for stepping back on it no leave it leave it you sit. Yes. Uh, she backed up on an escalator and got her rear toe mangled into it. 
that took two weeks of intensive rebandaging several uh, an average of once every day and now it's healed along with manuka honey and k laser treatments that has healed and just two days ago her whole face just got completely swelled up and took her to the er and they think it may be a bee sting knowing her she went into uh she probably um tried to eat it uh, swat a bee or eat it or whatever because she's uh, her personality is she's afraid of a lot of things that are harmless like a vacuum cleaner and she has no fear of a lot of dangerous things moving vehicles bees anything that moves that's what she wants to get into but a lot of a lot of harmless things she's afraid of she's afraid of the uh, big TV She's afraid of vacuum cleaner or she wants to that bark no that damn bark is so loud it's actually damaging my ears no barking oh my god don't get a puppy <laughs> holy crap boy is that it can be uh it's too much it's a huge huge amount of responsibility trying to keep her out of trouble is a full-time job but uh, it's going to get better she she gets professional training i train her i'm a good trainer but i hire someone to help with the training because i'm burned out on it i trained other people's dogs and put all my energy into it and it just completely burned me out they take up these aussies will take all of your energy away no leave it trying to train them i left those there on purpose to try to uh do exactly that for her to learn to leave those all right so i gotta clean this mess up